Hey guys, today I'm just going to be doing a video on my brush collection. And yeah, I'll just do it in a couple separate parts like face brushes and then eye brushes. Yeah, let's get started. Firstly, I just keep all my brushes stored in these little brush containers. This one was from a Sigma travel kit and this one just from an Eco Tools. I'm not really entirely sure what that was. And I'll just start off with the face brushes first. And I'll just start off with different foundation brushes I have. Firstly, just two typical paddle brushes, one from Sigma, and this is the F60, and this is just the travel size, it's like in a travel kit, but they're the exact same thing, just with a shorter handle. And then this one's just the BH Cosmetics, it's from like their Eco line, it's just a simple paddle brush as well. And then I've just got one Eco Tools, it's, this is a stippling brush, it's not actually very dense, like, it's like that, and also it's not very high quality, like, I can just take that off. I just need like hot glue gun that back together or something. Yeah, I find that... This gives uh, quite a nice light airbrush finish. And then I've got two of the dense flat top kabuki style brushes. One obviously from Sigma, this is the F80. And this is just a very nice dense soft brush. You've probably heard of this if you've been watching YouTube videos for like three seconds. And then this one which I actually like better than the Sigma one. This is the airbrush buffing brush from Models Prefer and it's just, it's really dense and nice and it also you can get it like directly from Priceline so you don't need to order it online from Sigma. And yeah, it's just really high quality and the handle's also a nice size as well. Um, I also, I just generally like this new model's prefer airbrush line. And then just my powder brushes, I've just start off with just the Sigma, it's just the F30, I think. Yeah, just the F30, just the large powder brush, it's a really nice soft brush, more like a, it's more of a flatter brush so you can place the powder on your face quite nicely. And then I've just got three Kabuki style brushes. Uh, this one's the Nude by Nature, it's the mineral brush, it's like their only individual brush. It's really good for just like patting all the powder in, like that. And it's just a really dense brush. You could probably use it for like a mousse foundation. I wouldn't recommend it for a liquid because it would seep through, but for like a mousse foundation, like the Maybelline Dream Mousse or whatever the fuck it is. And yeah, this is just a really good inexpensive brush, it's like $15. And then just this one which is the BH Cosmetics, it's just from that Eco line again. I like this brush, but I find it's a bit too coarse and a bit too harsh. Like, on my Astralis Fresh and Flawless powder, this actually, like, creates a lot of fallout because of how sharp the bristles are. And then I've just got one more. This is just the Nude by Nature Kabuki brush. And yeah, it's just a really good soft Kabuki brush. Almost as dense as the other Nude one, but not as dense, so it's good for, like, a lighter coverage. And I also have, like, two Revlon Kabukis, but I don't even wash them or use them or anything, so I'm not even going to mention them. And I've just got like these blush and contour brushes. This one's just the Real Techniques. This is actually the blush, the, the, the blush brush. But I use this for like blending out contour down the sides of your cheekbones. It's a really nice brush for that. And then this is the Nude Blush Brush. This looks more of like a powder brush, but it's just, it's not actually very dense. So it's like good for applying colour on the apples of the cheeks. And then two angled brushes. These are the Eco Tools one just from that Eco line. Fuck not Eco Tools. BH Cosmetics one just from that Eco set again, and then just the F40 which is the large angled contour from Sigma. And then I, I guess this counts because I use the little mini brush that comes in my Benefit Sugar Bomb blush for contouring like every day, it's a really nice brush. And then I have these two brushes which could barely be used for anything really, like this is the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. Um, many people use this for foundation I've seen, but I just use it for blending out like and patting in my MAC Pro and my concealer under my eyes. And then for a powder under my eyes or my Bare Minerals can, uh, Well Rested Concealer as well, I just use the Models Prefer MPA 104 Airbrush Concealer and this is just a really nice brush as well. In the same line as this one as well, this line is just really high quality and it's not too expensive as well. And that's all for my face brushes. Now I'll just get started on the eye brushes. I have a lot of varieties like Sigma, Real Techniques, Nude by Nature, Essence, a ton of those. So I'm just going to get these at any random order because they're going to fall out. Oh, the one that fell out is just the brush that came in my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. It's just a double-ended brush which I've actually bent mine, but this one's just like a flat shader, more of a pencil brush actually. It's like a thinner flat shader brush. And then this one's like a looser blending brush, which could be used just for applying colour in the crease. And then the next one is the Sigma Angled, it's the EO5, is it? Yeah, the EO5, it's just their small eyeliner brush. I used to use this for my eyebrows, but I find it's actually a lot easier to use a different brush, being the Nude by Nature. This is the double-ended brush, it just comes in their nine-piece brush kit. This side's actually a lip brush, but I sometimes use it for inner corner highlighting. 
And then just this angle side for my eyebrows because it creates a nice sharp line and it's a really thick brush, like it's a wider brush so it's easier to apply product. And then I've just got quite a few of these Essence brushes. Um, I've got more than this, so I'll just show these ones. These are just two different flat shader brushes. They're different colours. I don't know why. They're $2. They're actually really high quality for price. And then this one's just a, like a more of a pencil blending brush. It, yeah, it's just like a nice smudging brush and a pencil bar. Ugh. Like a blending pencil, whatever the fuck it is. And then this is just the Sigma brush that came in my Bear palette. It's got... The E30 and the E25, this is the E30, the pencil brush, and then that's the E25. Um, the next one is actually the Nude by Nature. I think this is the concealer brush, but I also use it for just, like, placing colour on the lid, because as you can see, it's quite long to be used on the eyes, and I can just generally get colour on there in, like, one and then two swipes, and then it's on fully. Next is another double-ended brush from the Models Prefer Sweet Kisses palette. I think that's what it's called. And it's just got a flat shader brush and a pencil brush on that end. It's not very good, but it'll do the job. And then just the pencil brush by Sigma. This is the E, is it the E30? And it's just a really good pencil brush for applying colour in the crease of the outer V, or the lower lash line even. And then an eyeliner brush from Real Techniques. This is, yeah, just the fine liner brush. It's got a really, really fine tip. And it's just a really good brush to use for eyeliner. And then I've just got a BH Cosmetics blending brush. Just really good for blending... And then a Nude by Nature blending brush, also really good for blending. This one's quite a bit softer than the than the BH Cosmetics one, so this is really nice for just blending out everything with no colour on it. I also have a Sigma blending brush. It's like the same style as that. It's the something, I don't know what it is. And it's just a really good blending brush as well. And then I've just got, it's like an all-over lid brush, but it's actually quite big and quite fluffy. It's like a bigger version of the MAC 217 or that Sigma E25. It's just really good for applying colour in the crease, even the brow bone highlight or the all over the lid, so yeah, it's a really good brush and it's quite soft too. And the Eco Tools, this is just the crease brush, you get in the little five piece set. It's an okay brush. And then the exact same brush, just the bigger size of it by Eco Tools again. And this is just like a smudge liner brush, I think. It's from BH Cosmetics, it's just a flat top liner brush, it's quite good for applying colour on the lower lash line or smudging eyeliner or shadow into the top lash line. And then the last couple are just this flat shader brush from BH Cosmetics from the Eco line. And then a smaller version of that flat shader from BH Cosmetics. And then the E55 by Sigma, which is just a very, uh, it's like a, uh, like a shorter, um, more compact, uh, flat shader brush. It's quite good for applying pigments, like, uh, loose pigments all over the lid. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like it, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.